Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the React.js video tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to set the default date and get the selected date using HTML input element. Now let's check the final output. See here, the default date which is the today's date, 27 December. Now let's select the uh, particular date that is 16th December 18th December 19th December if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates I'm using Visual Studio Code to create a react JS application just for the time saving I have already created one project this is my project in this above folder. Let me expand my project and notice in this project there is a source folder. Let me allow this source folder. In this source folder all my components whether it is a class or functional component I am saving in this folder only. I am creating in this source folder. Now for this example also I am creating my new class js file. Right click the source folder, new file. And the file name is date uh, default. Let's add the default date default.js. And here we got the date default.js file. In React.js, we can create two types of components. One is class and the other one is a functional component. But before creating a component, first we must import the React class from the React library. Let's add that step first. Import React from React library. It's React library. And after that, I'm defining one simple class called date default, which is my uh, file name. And this class extends React dot component. And in every class at the bottom line, we must export default. Export. Export default date default now in the class component between curly brackets every class component there are two important methods we must add one is a render method and the second one is a return method and this return method contains uh, all my HTML elements which displays the output on the browser let's add one HTML element do element the div element is a root element of our component. Why we require the div element, which is which is a root element? If you want to add more than one HTML element in your component, you must add between the div containers. So div container is a root component, root element of our class component. So h1 get uh, set first set the default set the default date default date and get the selected date get the selected date after that I am adding one more uh, one more header tag h3 js tutorials after that I am adding one horizontal line let's put these headings in the center I'm closing the center tag after the horizontal line and after the horizontal line uh, I'm adding one simple input uh, element the type is the date type is the date date let's close this input tag up to now we have just added headings and one HTML input date element now before set the default date when browser uh, when our component render on the browser, it displays a default date, which is a today's date. I want to show the today's dot date in this input element by default. So before set the default date to this element, let's save this file. We'll check the output, how it looks the designing part on the browser. Now here one important step is when we want to run our component, make sure we have to add 
our component in index.js file uh, here is the index.js file which contains uh, the render method notice in this render method there is app component the default app component will be created i'm deleting the app component and i'm adding my newly created component which is the dead default as well as i'm importing in the header section in the header section now let's save this file after saving our application now we'll run the component here we got our terminal notice the path is d column the folder name this is the folder name and inside this folder i have created chml insert which is my project name let's add this project to this path cd chml insert enter uh, so after adding the current path now i can able to run the application using the command called npm node package manager start enter And here we got the output of our application, the, uh, the component. And notice when it runs, it's showing the DD date and some gag and YYY, which is the ER. But my aim is when the component open, I want to display the today's date. So, and also if the user clicks the calendar, it displays the calendar. Now, first let's set the default date when component is rendered on the browser switch over to the, the component uh, let's create one constructor here constructor so i'm creating a constructor uh, to create a state so once we add the constructor we need to add the super meta this dot state now you can create the state inside the state date one is it date one column i'm creating an object new date with the date class with the date date now we need to call this date one here uh, value is equals to this dot state dot date one and i want to display at the bottom also horizontal line and line let's put this in the h1 tag H1 tag this dot state dot day date one. Now let's save this file, save all. We'll check the output after adding this constructor date one. When I reload the browser, objects are not valid as React. Uh, so what we'll do is uh, this dot state. Let's add this dot to i was string to i was string the format we require now let's check the output and here we got the output after adding the iso string the iso string is a date format format so we require the format for this data and if you notice it displaying on the label but here in the calendar it's not displaying the reason this is a time if you want to remove this time let's add the slice method slice zero comma let's add a seven save this file so starting value and ending value i want to display let's check the output so year and month is displaying so we'll add 10 0 10 now it's displaying the today's date 27th of december 27th of december and notice here also it's showing 27th of december so after adding this to iso string i'm getting the slice 0 10 I'm adding zero starting number and start starting index and the ending index I want to display only. Now 
I'm not showing here the date formats which I will create a new tutorial different types of date formats using HTML input date element now for this tutorial I'm setting how to set the default date and get the selected date now my next target is uh, to get the selected date I want to display here as well as I want to display also here the selected date and notice when I select the date see it's not selecting the date it's showing the default date only even I select particular date so for that we require one event uh, here in the constructor in the constructor after the constructor let's create one uh, function set uh, selected date let's add a cell date cell date cell date is equals to i'm creating the arrow function here this dot set state because i want to change the state and we want to change the state or update the state we have to use the hook called set state method the set state method if you don't know what is set state method i have explained clearly about set state and use state when to use how to use you can check in my react.js tutorial series this dot set state hook inside this i'm defining one uh, object here let's say add e here also you can e this dot uh, this dot state dot date one the date one here is the date one and now we call this cell date here on change event on change event is equals to this dot let's add my cell date which is the uh, function name that's it now let's save this file i'm not changing the value just i call this function here on change event that's it now we'll check the final output i'm reloading the browser and let's check the final output of our application and notice the default when i run my component it displays the default date which is a today's date 27th of december now let's get the selected date oops here something missing oh sorry this is not date one three column here date one date one column now e dot target target dot value let's say this file so the date one the state value i want i'm updating with the e dot target dot value after saving this component let's check the final output again i'm reloading the browser now let's check the final output see here the default date which is the today's date 27 december now let's select the uh, particular date that is 16th december 18th december 19th of December and once again I'm telling I'm not showing the date format in this video tutorial I will create one new uh, date format tutorials using HTML input element only using ReactJS or JavaScript that's it thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel catch you in my next video tutorial